Thank you for watching it. I'm Jose Guadalupe Pepe for you, and I'll be host this night. Tonight, we're going to interview our lovely president, Felix Maria Turba. Hello, it's a pleasure being here and being interviewed by a very nice person. Uh, oh, thank you. You flattered me. <laughs> well, I'd like to know more about you, Mr. Espaz. Shall we start? Yes, sure. Sure is the question. I have understood you are 45 years old, uh, right? Yes, in fact, because I was born in 1813. Of course. And you have lived in Chihuahua all your childhood, no? Well, actually, I was born in Alamo, Sonora, and I moved to, to Chihuahua when I was a child. And how did you start the, your military career? Well, I joined into the military of Chihuahua in 1834, and before, I, before that, I studied in Mexico City for a time, but that wasn't for me. And also in 1834, when I, when I joined into the military, I fought against the Apaches and the Comanches. Oh, that's exciting and a little dangerous. So, what happens next? Yeah, we won. And after that, I became commander. And in, a, and in addition, I fought against the Separatists and Yucatan, that was something extremely bad. And after that, I was raised to the to the rank of inter lieutenant colonel in eighty thirty four. Oh, that's amazing, President. What do you think about uh, the war against the United States? Uh, um, that was a very sad event, uh, and we lost a lot of territory, and that affected us economic and morally. But I, we, we don't have to give up. We have to keep pushing, and I think that Mexico is a, a great country, better than the USA, but just we have to think more. What a beautiful, nice war, Mr. President. And what happened in Ayutla Revolution? Uh, well, we fought against the rebels in 1854, uh, I think, uh, but I was taken prison, uh, prisoner uh, by the liberals that are mine. Uh, and after that, I was released to the to be a brigadier general. Oh, that's exciting. A lot of action and emotions. Yeah. Next question. Why were you in contour of the Ayutla plan? Well, uh, first, it was made uh, by the liberals, and as I said, they are my my enemies. Uh, well, and I know that, and you know, everyone knows that nothing gets all out of them. Uh, also, I think that the religion is one of the important things that we have to keep going in Mexico. And that's why I, I did the Tacubaya plan. I perceive bad vibes here. Can I ask you how is your relation with Mr. Benito Juarez? Uh, well, uh, it's a little complicated uh, because he's a liberal person and we have different ideas. But I hope that in the future we can work together to make uh, Mexico a magnificent country. That's a deep end. What do you think that will happen if the liberals receive the power? <laughs> uh, well, probably we have we will have to call the the French again. <laughs> You're so funny, hey, Mr. President. Let's go to the tsunami. Come with me, please. Okay. See a picture with an enigmatic character when have had an important impact in your life and. What we want with this is you to tell us your relation with each person. Uh, well, if you don't see, uh, I'm wanting to don't do this. Perfect. Let's start. Oh. Uh, well, uh, Alex and Diana, I support his ideas, and we are good friends, and I have a lot of expectations on him. Uh, as I said before, Benito and I have a difference in our way of thinking and seeing the real world, and I respect him, but I really dislike him to oppose all my ideas. Next one. 
Uh, well, with him, I have a, a large story. I know him since where we were little. Uh, we were we both were born in Sonora, and we are also good friends. Uh, well, I really had hate that guy. Uh, he stole the president from Santana, and who me who messed with my friends, mess with me. Thank you for sharing with us tonight. I'm afraid we ran out of time, but. It was a pleasure to have you in your our program. Let's say goodbye to you. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks. Sir. Thank you. Felix Maria Soloar had good thoughts about the conservative system, although everyone was against him. He won the best for Mexico in his way. He thought that the new political system did not work and he wanted to get back to the old regime when the Europeans ruled Mexico and it was working good enough. Sadly, we will, we, were, we will be remembered he as a bad person because he was against Benito Juarez, who is a hero in our country. <laughs>